Bionicles have way too much lore considering they're just Lego sets, but the dense storylines and detailed world building are what have allowed them to live on in the imaginations of trillions years after the line was cancelled. Don't believe me? Well, let me ask you this. What would you say is the mark of a well-developed fictional universe? Meticulously detailed geography that shapes the people and societies that occupy it? Robust languages that can be studied and learned at a college level? A rich and detailed history for the main text to draw from to further inform its world and characters? All good guesses but not quite. Actually, the definitive sign of great world building is in-universe swear words. But wait, Bionicles for kids, they can't cuss. Oh, contraire. While it's certainly true that Takanuva can't call Makuta a mother or Vakama can't tell Rudaka he wants the her rock she heads outside of the Letting some colorful language fly during situations of high stress is just human nature, and so the authors of the Bionicle story added some kid-friendly sentence enhancers to spice up the dialogue. Now, it shouldn't be a surprise that a kid's toy line doesn't have an exact synonym for the F word, even though that would be hilarious, but there are some pretty brutal insults and slurs you can add to your vocabulary, such as Paraka. Paraka is a Matoran slang word that means thief or murderer. Basically, any particularly nasty ne'er-do-wells will be given this name. By calling somebody a Paraka, you're pretty much just saying they're the scum of the earth. Ironically, the term was adopted by an actual gang of thieves and murderers because they thought it sounded cool. So, uh, yeah, they really Yankee-doodled that one. The reverse of this happened when a Makuta named Spuria failed so badly at everything he ever did that his name became synonymous with failure. He was probably not too happy about this, but I mean, come on, if you get killed by this thing, I think it's pretty safe to say you sucked. So the next time you fail an exam, just tell your parents you spuriaed it, and they'll probably think it's some kind of cool slang for totally aced it, and they won't take away your phone. Now, if you were a Bionicle that wanted to tell another Bionicle to go to hell, you would tell them to go to Karzani. Karzani is a crazy dude who runs what's essentially a prison camp where he experiments on his subjects, gives them nightmare visions for kicks, forces them to join his slave army, and other fun stuff like that. His name also kind of sounds like an app that would be used to sell cars, like in a commercial with an unwitting middle-aged man about to make a bad purchase from a sleazy dealer when suddenly Carzani shows up and is like, get a better deal with Carzani. Then the guy downloads the Carzani app and gets a Ferrari. Then he tells the shady dealer to go to hell and Carzani's like, ah, da, da, da. you mean go to Carzani. Then they all laugh like, ha 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 ha. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, if you want to call somebody ugly, you should call them a Hordika, which means half beast. This insult gained some potency when the Toa Hordika took it as their name, because I mean, come on, do you really want to be compared to that? Speaking of Hordika, Rudaka was a female bionicle that had boobs and a butt, and also her name is a slang word for traitor because she just could not stop betraying people. She betrayed the Dark Hunters, she betrayed the Brotherhood of Makuta, she betrayed Sidorak, and the list goes on and on, probably. Let's round things off with some lighter Matoran tier insults. Calling somebody a Coley head is the equivalent of calling them an idiot or moron or stupid. It's a nice, relatively innocuous insult that can still hurt people's feelings. Fire spitter is a lay Matoran slur for Tomatoran, sometimes used in a friendly context, but sometimes not. If you need to piss off a red bionicle, just call him a fire spitter and watch their temper flare. And finally, this isn't an insult, I just thought it was important to include, the tree speak term dark wet means dank, so any dank bionicle memes can also be referred to as dark wet memes for some extra bionicle flavor. So there you have it, how to insult, swear, and just generally be an unpleasant person the bionicle way, just as Lego intended.